Hi everyone, my name is Brittany Martin and I am one of the top shelf financial analysts and today I'll be discussing gross square footage. I'll be using the hotel acquisition model from Top Shelf in order to demonstrate what this metric is and how it is being used within a financial model. So without further ado, let's get started. So gross square footage, commonly abbreviated as GSF, is the total amount of square footage of a building. So this includes all space within the outside of the exterior walls of a building accessible was the key word to kind of remember when thinking about gross square footage. So areas that would be included in the gross square footage calc would be common areas, it would be corridors, it would be walkways, attics, balconies, and basically any other area that is accessible within the building. Gross square footage would not include areas like a parking lot or a swimming pool or an unexcavated basement. Now that I'm in the hotel acquisition model, if I scroll down here, you'll see that there is a box on the assumptions tab labeled hotel specs. So there is an input here in blue for the gross square footage. Since typically you know what the square footage of a building is or that's easier to be calculated than the net square footage. So the net square footage is different than the gross square footage since net square footage is area that is usable and is also looked at as space that is kind of rentable to tenants. So that's kind of how we are looking at it within this model, um, even though the lobby and amenity is also typically usable as well, but it's not revenue driving. So we're looking at our lobby amenity calc as the difference between the gross square footage and the net square footage, but this would also include other areas that like hallways and then other areas that would not be included in this net square footage total here. Net square footage is important since tenants need to know how much space they would be occupying or guests for a hotel would want to know how much space would be in their hotel room and how space in the hotel room just leave there. So gross square footage we kind of use that more mm, hotel room. So both of these metrics are important but we use the gross square footage number typically in renovation budgets or construction budgets when estimating the cost for some exterior renovations or interior renovation items or hard or soft costs. So as you can see here in our renovation budget, there's an input here for cost. And so I can select items to be based off of per key, per square foot, or fixed amount. So this per square footage is the base is the gross square footage. So if I enter $15 here and it's $15 per square foot, I would get a total of $750,000 for the cost. And this is based on the 50,000 gross square footage number we saw earlier since it's kind of easier to base estimates on gross square footage. That's all I have for you today. I hope you have a better understanding of the difference between gross square footage and net square footage. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks.